Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking and enjoying the Deschutes and Bitburger Dry Hopped Zwickel Unfiltrite Nitrube. I don't speak German. So, it is a collaboration between a an organ. Organ? Deschutes' is organ. Yeah, Deschutes' is organ. An organ brewery and a German brewery, Bitburger. We brew with friends. Uh, I really enjoy the Deschutes brews I've had. Probably their, they have a couple, uh, like their, their Black Butte Porter is a really well well received porter that you can get a lot of places uh, across the US and their um, their Christmas their holiday jubal ale is really something special and unique every year it's a spiced ale that's really quite sumptuous and delicious um, and also quite easy to get a hold of and Bitburger has I'm familiar with them because of their Rattlers, which is a traditional German summer beer style. That's a, a wheat beer mixed with a fruit juice. And their, um, their Lemon Rattler, I believe, is, is one of our favorites. Um, I'm trying to remember. There's, there's a few Rattlers that we like and a few Rattlers that we were less fond of. But I believe the Bitburger Lemon Rattler was one of, one of our favorites. Uh, so, I mean, being dry hopped, so that's obviously going to be the, <laughs> the West Coast, Northwest organ influence, and uh, the Zwickel is going to be the, the German traditional uh, foundation, as it were. A Zwickel is a, a form of a Keller beer. A Keller beer, or a cellar beer, is specifically a beer meant for aging. It's usually pretty decently bitter because the hops are needed to preserve it for longer storage, um, and also pretty decently malty. Um, the Zwickel is known as a kind of a, a lighter variant of that, of the cellar beer, or a lighter form of the cellar beer. So, interested to see how this one turns out. I want to say I've had a Keller beer on here before. I can't recall, though, specifically which one it was. But let's open this up and see how it tastes. Hmm, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, right off the bat, almost an apple juice character. With some uh, some brown brown wheat, uh, like some toast. It's 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 definitely unfiltered, so it's pretty cloudy, uh, and it's a. Uh, it's kind of a, an orange, a burnt orange color. The color's kind of nice. The head is rocky, uh, and it's hanging around pretty decently. Yeah. Neighbor's compressor just came on. Or heat exchange, whatever. We'll see how well it fix up things. Um, <laughs> got it fun janky microphone setup here <laughs> using outdoor uh, uh, tinker toys no not tinker toys um, yes tinker toys outdoor tinker toys <laughs> holding up my microphone so we'll see if that picks up over the uh, heat exchange anyway so back to the taste or back to the smell uh, from the can there was kind of a, a mellow sweetness like a, an apple like brown apple juice um, and it also has this kind of um, like a toasted wheat, darker wheat. There's an earthiness to the smell as well, and maybe a saltiness. That's interesting. Uh, like crackers, but like not not like a rye cracker. Lighter than a rye cracker, darker than a saltine, so kind of in between there. Interesting. Well, let's taste it. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. So it has a juiciness. Um, it would be like really dilute um, or subtle apple juice. Um, and that's kind of the start, but I, th I think that's definitely from the malts. Um, it has a really, really definitive maltiness that, that kind of stays consistent through the whole beer. Um, and it is, it is a, a mildly, a medium roasted maltiness. That's, that's quite nice. It's a good kind of foundation. The hops are there the whole time, kind of tracing this, this, uh, counterpoint. Um, they're not, they're not really full bodied. It's more of a pretty thin bitterness that just comes in pretty quickly and continues and and then you're left the finish you're left with this kind of bready with uh, uh, almost like a store-bought like a, a whole wheat um, loaf store-bought whole wheat loaf so some sweetness uh, breadiness soft and th this continuing thin reed of bitterness A decently tasty beer the before you before you get to that breadiness it does taste a bit watery um, and that might just be because it is like I said it, the Zwickle is kind of the, the lighter version of the Keller beer and so it is it, it, it's lighter there's there's less of the maltiness there's less of the pronounced hoppiness um, so that would be I suppose that could be expected I believe this is the first Zwickle I have tried. I would say that it smells stronger than it tastes. But that the taste is interesting and there's there's a few different components to it. And it's it's decently tasty. Um I'm not sure I would say this is like a okay so there's super interesting beers that have crazy stuff going on that are big and bold and brash and explosive and and like there's no there's no break from from start to finish it just keeps going um, then there's you know basic beers that are consistent and and they have a, a consistent flavor profile throughout and then there's then there's beers that maybe have a couple different zones or uh, uh, acts, and I would say this this seems to have maybe two two and a half, three, uh, decently distinct acts, and I and it it leaves the beer feeling a little bit disjointed in my opinion, not unpleasant, just I'm expecting it to from the smell I'm expecting. Uh, maybe a stronger maltiness, a little more pronounced sweetness, um, and instead I have this very, very mild, mildly tasty, bready, but also kind of watery um, uh, beer. It, it's very light bodied, so it'll work well for, for warm days, uh, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting beer, and I'll definitely enjoy drinking the rest of it. Um, <laughs> but I wonder if, um, I have to try more Zwickles to know if this is common to the style or not. Um, I, I can't, I cannot give my statement as to how authentic it is. I would imagine Bitburger being a, a well-respected traditional German brewery, it's likely a very decent beer. Also being a... A collaboration it likely doesn't hasn't had to deal with um, the issues of being too old due to shipping um, I would imagine it probably actually originated in Oregon and that's why it's here and so yeah I would guess it's a fine example of the style and it's certainly quite tasty and uh, I guess on that confusing note I'll catch y'all on the flip side